time since I have done a uh, a live stream. So I had a little bit of time this beautiful Sunday afternoon, so I figured I would do an unboxing and a review and uh, do a little bit of Q&A uh, afterwards if you guys, you know, want to get your questions in or, uh, you know, if you haven't tuned into one of these videos in a while, now is your time. All right, so this has absolutely nothing to do with Caterpillar that's in this box. This is a model that I have wanted for, oh, I don't know, 15, 20 years, something like that. And uh, just had the opportunity to pick it up just last week. It got delivered today. So uh, pretty excited for that. Let's go ahead and unbox it. And we'll see what's inside. Hopefully it arrived in one piece, which is always my main concern. When opening any model. But I think you guys will appreciate this, definitely. All right. Lots and lots of uh, newspaper. Anything else? Okay. Well, I gotta say it's packed well. So if anything's damaged, it is not for a lack of effort. And here we go. It is, drum roll please, 187 scale classic mint collectibles Talbert Lowboy trailer. This is the three axle version uh, furnished in black. So 280 of these were made. Obviously this is number 145. These are, in my opinion, the best Lowboy you can get in 187 scale. doesn't matter if it's brass, die cast, plastic kit, resin kit, whatever. This is the creme de la creme. So, uh, definitely have been wanting this to display some of my higher-end HO scale heavy equipment models on. So, very, very excited. So, let's go ahead and pop this open. By the way, for those that may not be familiar, they offered these with a Peterbilt tractor uh, in various different color schemes. And they also offered them with some Komatsu heavy equipment. All right, what do we have here? Attention, although functional... It is not recommended that the gooseneck be removed from the trailer. Good to know. Glad I read this first. However, these are the instructions. First, remove the retaining wire on the bottom of the trailer, then depress both pins on the front of the bed and lift the control stand and gooseneck straight up. Run on sentence, but we'll let it pass. Also be advised that some of the moving parts, such as the outrigger, should be handled with great care due to the small size of these parts. Okay, cool. Destructions are always good. Uh, all right, so here we have black foam. There's the trailer inside. I don't know if, you know what, we're just going to do this. I don't know if you're supposed to take one of these sides off. Uh-oh, I hear a errant piece. I hear a piece running around. That's not good. What it is, I don't know. It's a mud flap. So here is a mud flap that will need to be attached there you go hopefully you can make that out well if that's the only thing that's wrong i guess we'll take this as a win and move on let's get some of this packaging out of the way by the way this is the lego d11 i have it here because it's so big i don't have anywhere else to put it right now uh, i actually bought a display cabinet maybe we'll touch on that a little bit later and uh the cabinet wasn't big enough and here's another broken mud flap so well i guess we can have the mud flaps off the trailer so here's one and here's two and here's the trailer so aside from the little issue with the mud flaps everything else appears to be uh intact so it'd be nice if the camera would stop auto focusing come on camera there we go. That's going to happen during these live sessions. Not a whole lot I can do about it. So, there's the first look at the trailer. I saw a couple of you guys' message uh, pop up on live, so let me get caught up on that. Uh, Raphael says, let's enjoy the unboxing video. I hope you are. And the gentleman underneath that says, yo. So, I guess yo back at you. Uh, so, yeah. You can see that it has um, outrigger planks that deploy out uh, the bed. 
very good. See, it has the wood finishing on top of it. Now, I probably already said this, but they did make these, in addition to making these in a variety of different colors, the trailers, they also made one with a functioning drop axle. So there would this would be a four axle trailer, and the drop axle would flip up or flip down. Uh, but this is just fine for me. Really could not pass up the deal I got on this. So there you go. Here's the bottom of the gooseneck, if you can see that. There's the, the pins it's telling you to depress. Uh, the connection lines, again, this is HO scale, so having the hydraulic lines to go into the gooseneck is pretty remarkable. You can see that. And obviously the decaling is top-notch, too, with uh, warning labels down here in yellow. Uh, DOD striping, etc., etc. It should be pretty easy to attach those flaps. You can actually see the white spots where they go on the back. So shouldn't be shouldn't be too much of an issue, I wouldn't imagine. Okay, so let's go get a tractor. Now, I'll be frank. I don't have a CMC Peterbilt yet. It's on my list. Uh, so we're not going to really have a, a great match for this trailer. We're gonna we're gonna find something in diecast, and it's just it's gonna be what it is. Um, but then we'll put some heavy equipment on the back of this so you guys can see it. So while I am doing that, feel free those that are have joined us for this live session. Feel free to ask your questions in the live chat. Okay, so I grabbed just three different examples, and I'll go over each one. First, we're going to start off with a international, I believe this is a Pro Star, and this would be from Promotex several years ago. So there you go. Guys, let me know if it's still blurry. I don't know why during YouTube Live on this phone uh, it goes in and out, so just bear with me. That's what that one looks like. Not too bad. Obviously, it would be better if it was a black tractor, in my opinion. But there you go. Speaking of a black tractor, here we have a Norscott Peterbilt. Mixture of a die cast and plastic model. This is... These are the ones that came with the... Uh, no, or the Norscott Lowboy trailers way back in the day. 20... Almost 20 years ago. So, that one looks a little bit better. All right. How about a heavy haul rig? One of the few heavy haul rigs I have in 187 scale. I do have on order a black one of these. Um, although I didn't know until I placed the order that they were out of stock, so I don't know when it's coming. So for now, we'll have to live with this one. That doesn't. To me, that doesn't look great because of how far back the the fifth wheel is. If it was up here, maybe it'd look a little bit more realistic. Anyway, so that's the trucks and stuff slash Tonkin uh, Kenworth. What is it? W900, maybe? I don't know. It's a Kenworth. Okay, let me get caught up on some questions, and then we'll put some equipment on it. Uh, Breen says, that's a nice trailer. Thank you. I agree. Ben says, hello. Hello, Ben. Uh, Railfan Lily, can you make an updated video on your collections, fire, please, etc.? Actually, I'm in the process of doing that, but it'll probably be a couple months before they premiere on this channel. So, appreciate your patience. Uh, for it being 187 scale, it looks amazing. I completely agree, Raphael. Uh, what do you think about the new Peterbilt 589? I actually like it a lot, and I'm hoping to have a 150 scale model here of it to review for you guys before the end of the year. We'll see. Again, a lot of that nowadays is completely out of my control. Uh, Ford Muscle, good video, Tom. How much is the Lowboy trailer? Uh, these Lowboy trailers, well, when they first came out, I was looking this up this morning. When the trailers first came out, if you just wanted the trailer by itself, I think the three axle ones were like 215, and I think the, the four axle flips were like 250, something like that. Uh, and then you can add another several hundred dollars if you wanted the tractor that comes with it. Again, this one I got for a 
Uh, I believe it was a reasonable deal. I'm not going to disclose the amount just because the seller asked me not to, but I feel like he was adequately compensated and it was within my budget, so uh, I would call that a win for both parties, being fair to everybody. And uh, again, the tractor does not come with the trailer. All of these tractors came uh, either by themselves or with various other HO scale models. Um, but again, for those that are just tuning in now, I, I just saw a few more people have tuned in, so thank you. I do have one of these coming in black. And uh, when it gets here, I'm planning on doing a little bit of work to it. Maybe adding a headache rack, a light bar. Um, if I can get some A-line wheels, I may experiment with flapping out the wheels and tires. Because these look atrocious to me. I've always hated the uh, the TNS wheels. They just they look very toy-like. Alright, so let's go with one of these. Let's go with one of the Peterbilts so that we can imagine to ourselves that it's actually the CMC Peterbilt. Uh, and let's put some heavy equipment on it. So, what do you guys want to see on this? Um, I've got... All the CMC brass models are here, right next to me. I can easily get them. Um, and, well... Why not? Let's swing for the fences first. Here's a CMC... Or CMC... CCM... Uh, Coal Planner PM465 Cat. One of my all-time favorite... 187 scale models, and actually one of my favorite models in any scale, but that's no secret. Let's move it a little bit closer to the camera for you. Okay, I see a couple of you, uh, a couple of you asking for loaders and dozers. We can do that. It's going to come down to which one I can grab the quickest may not necessarily be my best one but here is the d8r from ccm part of the original 12 piece set man that looks good see i'm getting to do this with you guys live for the first time you saw me unbox it um, obviously i've seen photos of these and i have seen them years ago at, at train and swap meets but i have never actually had one here that i can uh, for lack of a better term screw around with put some trailer or put some vehicles on the trailer. Um, I'm really impressed. It looks even better in person. It definitely is a, a great trailer. So that's the dozer. Let's get an excavator. Can I get the 325 without moving everything? Yeah, I should be able to. CCM 325. How's that look? There we go. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Uh, again, so very fortunate, very lucky to have one of these in my collection. There's like, there's probably five or six models um, that I have on my really, really want list that if they ever pop up, uh, I probably would, would jump on them. Long story short, this was one of them, so I'm, ha I'm glad to have this off my list. There are, well, a tractor, CMC tractor would be another one, uh, and then the three CCM 187 scale brass models that I don't have, which would be a white 797, a white um, 776, which is the mega dump coal trailer, uh, and a... 994, which is a large wheel loader with the coal bucket in yellow. So those are the three CCM models uh, still left to get. All right, anything else you guys want to see on this trailer? And then we'll move on to uh, other questions or suggestions you may have. Uh, do you have any John Deere backhoe loader? I do. You want to see what a John Deere backhoe loader looks like on here? Give me a second. and you shall receive. Here is a 310 SE. This is a very, very old Ertl model. 
I guess you'd probably have these down for transport. Well, I've seen them up, actually. And if you want it the other way, that's what it looks like the other way. All right, that's a backhoe loader on it. I still have to show you a wheel loader, so let's grab a suitable size wheel loader. because it was the easiest one to grab. Here's a Diecast Masters 972M. Let's just imagine for a second that there was not an operator behind the wheel. There you go. That's what a loader looks like. Okay, have I answered all of your questions regarding this trailer? Looks like it. Looks like it. Okay. So we're over 15 minutes. If you guys have any other questions relating to scale models, ask them now. Otherwise, we will end the video. I know I haven't been as active as I have in the past. Um, lots of stuff going on in life. So I think that can be said for most people. But just watch the videos as they premiere. Um, hopefully within the next month or two. I'll have the latest batch of DM stuff here, which will include the Black 315, the General Purpose 395 in 150th scale, uh, most of the new wheel loaders that aren't really new at all, and uh, what else? I know I'm forgetting a thing. Oh, the uh, 785 Vintage Series, not Vintage Series, Core Classic Series, which is the same model as the North Scout. 785 that came out 15 20 years ago um so lots of stuff to look forward to there pull up chat uh okay so you want to see the lego dozer watch me break this thing on live tv calling it right now so there is a video of this already out for those that want to see all the angles and the build history and all of that fun stuff. I promise you this will not be in frame because it's too big. And during live, I can't zoom out other than doing this. So hang on to your hats. There you go. Here's the D11, Lego D11. Um, here's a penny for size reference. <laughs> There you go. So that took me and one of my best friends um, over a year and a half to build. And it is quite a good model. It does have powered functions. Again, you can see all this in the video, so I'm not going to um, harp on it too much. But if you have a bunch of time to kill and you have the patience of, I don't know, a parent with three kids then this is a good option for you. Just make sure you can follow directions because if you screw one thing up and it could be as easy as one of these red pieces not being the right size, there's a good chance you won't catch it until you're into the next book and then you gotta backtrack and it's absolutely a nightmare. Is it worth it in the end? Yeah, I, I, I'd say it is. Uh, is it worth $500? No, it's not worth $500. Um, but it's a sweet piece. Again, I think there's something like, uh, I don't know, like well, almost 6,000 pieces. I don't remember. But anyway, that's the D11 for the individual that wanted to see it. Let me put this back. There is no room to show you really on here any of the powered functions, so I'm not going to. Again, watch the video if you want to see it functioning. Okay, any other comments or questions that you guys want? I know this was an impromptu live session, so there's not a lot of people here on a Sunday afternoon. Um, but I will try to, I will try to do more live sessions soon. But um, it's a busy time of year for me. It's busy in the scale model world, getting everything together for next year. It's busy. In one of my day jobs, I work at Board of Elections, so 
coming up on the election cycle, so that's that's crazy busy for us. So chances are, if I can do a live session, I will, but um, it definitely won't be as uh, prominent as the other ones. What else did I do? Oh, so here's something you guys can see. This is something I have been working on. So this is an old Tomica toy of a Komatsu 187 scale dozer, D65 dozer. And there's a place near me um, called House of Plastics. And they have a huge bin, huge bin, full of die cast. And you'll find everything under the sun if you have enough patience to dig through it. This was a damaged model that I found. And actually, here's another... Here's another damaged one that I robbed some pieces off of. Um, remarkably, the tracks were still intact on both of these. But this one was missing one of the uh, cylinders. Um, and the blade was all screwed up on it. So, anyway. <sighs> Combining about three into one, this is what I got. And I made the decals myself. So there you go. Get out, of the, or get out of the glare there. But it says Komatsu on the back. And then it has a root rake on the front. Not bad. So kind of pleased with how this turned out. Considering I paid 25 cents. Well actually I paid 75 cents. Because I bought three parts models. But they're 25 cents each. And that's what I got. If you want a size comparison. It is true 187 scale. At least Tomica claims. So here's a D8. And a Komatsu D65 next to each other. They scale out pretty well. Alright, any other questions or things you want to see? Otherwise, I'm shutting this thing down. Uh, a lot of work to put the Lego thing together. It it definitely is. <laughs> Absolutely. I wish I knew how to do like one of those compilation videos where you... You know, you just you fast forward the whole build process from start to finish. But considering it took a year and a half, I don't know how that would have been possible. Um, Joe says hi, hello, jo uh, Joe, and oh, nice. All right, I think that'll do it for today's video, guys. Thanks for tuning in. As I said already once before, it was an impromptu session. Uh, I had no warning I was going to do this, so I appreciate those that jumped in last minute. If you like what you see. Uh, please give the video a like, share it with your friends, all that fun stuff that help us out on YouTube and the other social media platforms. And stay tuned. Going to be a busy couple months. We got the white CCM 60, what is it, 6060 or 6090. One of those large, humongous mining shovels. That, that'll be here hopefully before Christmas. Fingers crossed. Um, I mentioned all the Diecast Master stuff. A few, R, a few RC stuff coming in. Uh, I'm sure I'm forgetting things, but... Bunch of stuff to look forward to. Alright guys, thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. Have a great rest of your Sunday. Until next time.